Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of March in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. First we're going to take a look at your angel guide oracle uh, which is the courage and bravery. So whenever this card comes up uh, first of all it, it, yeah, it it is kind of similar to the strength card which is an indication that you have a lot of courage and a lot of bravery uh, but generally it can be like you know you can kind of see how she's trying to protect herself i think some of you are doing the same some of you are trying to protect yourself from something we'll see uh if the tarot is going to clarify a little bit but the, whenever this card comes up the angels are telling you back off uh we are here to protect you you don't have to protect yourself so be courageous and 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 go down a path that might be new for some of you but let's see uh what is uh, the tarot telling us in the center of your reading you have the knight of cups knight of cups uh generally knights are all about action and this action is a romantic one which is the kind of uh, thing you want to see in a love and relationship reading uh, generally it can be an invitation of some sort maybe somebody wants to go out with you invitation for a date some of you uh, are uh, asked to get engaged or even getting married this is the most romantic night from all of them so there's definitely romance in the air uh, it can be also a person uh, somebody who's very dreamy somebody who is very romantic so there's definitely love in the air for you uh, this period of time but let's see uh, what else we have here your reading actually starts with the two of cups the two of cups which is uh, the card of commitment generally it can be an indication of a very harmonious great relationship between two people where both parties are equally benefiting from this relationship definitely soulmate energy if you're single your uh, your soulmate is on on their way or you might be already with your soulmate especially if you've been kind of going through some difficulties i think the rainbow is as indication that you're going to be able to get over any kind of difficult situations that you've been through uh, again this can be a card of engagement of getting married or making some kind of a promise commitment to each other beautiful energy uh, to have in a love reading and you also have the page of cups page of cups is uh, uh, again like it's it's uh, cups being a very uh, heartfelt and very romantic there's definitely an indication of a message coming in for you a message about a partnership a message about getting married getting married or or there's some kind of an invitation for something uh, but the page of cups is kind of the beginning of the of these romantic messages and uh, message exchanges uh, that you have in your life and you also have here the justice the justice is all about balance harmony uh, so some of you are balancing your life balancing how much uh, time you're spending with work how much time you're spending with your loved ones or just finding balance generally because you have also a two of cups which is all about balance and harmony and the justice as well so some of you need to pay attention to something how uh, to balance it maybe your feelings maybe your actions uh, or just being fair uh, because you know the justice can be about being fair and equitable as well in terms of the justice it can be a big decision as well maybe there's some kind of a contract married can be a contract uh, if you're getting married uh, there's some kind of a legal action in in some sort uh, which can be again like a, a marriage is is, is uh, connected to legality but if you've been kind of going through a divorce uh, maybe there's some kind of a decision that you've been waiting for there's definitely uh, um, a decision is being made for uh, your favor and you're getting whatever you deserve and maybe this can be also that you know uh, maybe there's something here some kind of romantic gesture or a romantic offer that you actually deserve because this is a very karmic energy uh, with the justice card and you also have here the ten of cups which is hello the perfect happiness the harmony the balance you have the two rain two cards with the rainbows there's definitely had been some difficulties in your life but all that difficulty is now in the past and and finally you're going to be able to choose happiness you're going to be able to see things uh, from a more positive perspective and this is kind of like the happily ever after 
right like like this is the most beautiful card you can have uh, in a love uh, reading you practically you you uh, already have uh, one of the best cards that you can have in a love and relationship uh, reading but again ten of cups is uh, definitely showing that there's a perfect happiness coming in for you and if you wanted to confirm uh, to have some confirmation because the two of cups uh, was not enough for you you also have the lovers which is the major arcana version of the two of cups this is definitely law of attraction energy when you're acting uh, attracting somebody uh, somebody that you've been uh, desiring this is a very strong desire card uh, when you kind of have such a strong desire for each other that you cannot keep your hands off of each other this is the perfect uh, relationship this is the perfect partner definitely soulmate energy you have uh, both cards in this reading that are indicating a, a soulmate energy so if you're single you're gonna be meeting your soulmate and if you are with your soulmate you can uh, definitely uh, be happy about it lovers can be also uh, a marriage so like some of you are literally like must get married like uh, because because it, it, it is uh, very much this reading is all about marriage lovers can be a decision as well maybe there's a big decision that some of you need to make uh, uh, at this time but this is also a card of the big yeses so i think get ready to say yes uh, now let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most and for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons and i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with your life who's getting married who's getting engaged who's just being uh, asked out for a date now you also have here the queen of pentacles uh, court card can be a person you're dealing with or your general energy uh, or your energy this is definitely about long-term stability uh, loyalty and commitment uh, like when uh, when the this card comes uh, out you can be trusting that that person is there for you on a long run not a player somebody who's very practical it's a very motherly uh, energy as well somebody who likes to take care of the other one um, and again uh, there's definitely loyalty uh, in this relationship when the queen of pentacles shows up and you also have the empress the empress which is all about long-term happiness long-term abundance uh, when when you can kind of count on something that's going to be there for you on a long run this is definitely not an in and out type of energy uh, the empress is all about uh, uh, giving birth to something new some of you uh, might be expecting a child some of you uh, are uh, uh, getting into a relationship or some of you are getting into the next step of a relationship again this relationship is definitely here to stay and let's see the last card the last card is the six of swords the six of swords which is an indication that you're leaving all the troubles behind and finally things are getting better things are get, getting nicer for you you can just enjoy the ride and you can just enjoy whatever's coming uh, to you because uh, you are able to leave everything in the past some of you might be moving some of you might be traveling with the six of swords energy uh, but there's definitely a beautiful uh, feel of here that all the troubles are in, in in the past and practically you have only good cards and all of them are connected to long-term uh, relationship long-term positivity long-term happiness and at the bottom of the deck you do have the hangman which is kind of telling you to see things from a different perspective see things from a different angle or or maybe you need to give up something and i think what you need to kind of give up is uh protecting yourself just go with the flow because you have all the best cards here from a relationship perspective the lovers the ten of cups the two of cups empress uh, and you have the uh, king of hearts there's definitely uh, a chance for a strong loving long-lasting relationship uh, uh, for you so beautiful energy claim it don't forget to claim it because you're not gonna get uh, such a good reading again um, uh, and and i hope that it, it's, it's gonna come true for all of you and i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again